Are false scara lashes safe for your eyes? I'm gonna be talking all about that in this video. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist and lover of all things beauty. And on this channel, we talk about eye makeup health, eye health, eye surgery, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, please hit that subscribe button so you can follow along this journey and get all of these up-to-date videos. I'm making a ton of them right to your door as soon as I make them. Okay, false care of lashes. You guys have been asking for this video for a long time, so I'm finally making it. False care are the artificial lashes that you adhere to the underside of your lashes. So very similar to some of the other reviews I've done of lashes, mainly Lashify is the uh, other type I've done that's similar to it, but this is at a much better price point. So I was curious to see how it stacked up against Lashify. Is this not as safe? Is this safer? What's going on? How are they different? So just like many of the other types, these have tiny little lashes that you adhere to the underside using a clear bonding agent. Now the website says that you can wear them for up to 10 days at a time and each lash can be worn three times. I personally would not recommend ever wearing any of these kind of lashes, whether it's Falscara or an other brand for 10 days. I do recommend changing them out at least every couple days so that you can do a really good deep cleanse of your eyelids. Because if you don't clean your eyelids where the lash root is, you're gonna get a lot of blockage of your oil glands and even though those falscara lashes are gonna look awesome, you're gonna notice that your natural lashes are getting shorter and stubbier. And it's not so much the weight of the lashes, which might be partly to do with it, but it's really from the inflammation, the mybomitis, the blepharitis that you are causing by not cleaning your eyelids and really removing all of that eye makeup properly. And the only way to do that is to take the lashes off and just reapply them. So that's number one. I definitely would not recommend keeping them on your eyes as an ophthalmologist for 10 days straight. That being said, I do know lots of people, even my own surgical nurses at my surgical center that keep them on for two weeks at a time. And as long as you are cleaning, if you can, then that's fine. But what I noticed is when I use these kinds of lashes, I cannot clean my eyeliner off without causing the lashes to fall off too. So you just have to know that and then either minimize the amount of eye makeup you wear and just, I would personally rotate them every couple of days. I think if you clean the lashes really well, you could probably get more than three times use out of each one. Okay. Now you wanna know what's in it. Well, I took a look at the ingredient list for the clear bonding seal. The first ingredient is ethyl hexyl acrylate copolymer. So we've talked about these acrylate copolymer. It is the same thing that is in the regular lash glue. If you do falsies on top of your eyelids, it's the same thing as in some of the other lashes that go underneath. It's the bonding agent. It's the glue, right? Cyanoacrylate is crazy glue, we call it. These are just variations of that. So. Just like I've mentioned in the past, when these glues off gas, when they hit the air, they do off gas sometimes a little bit of formaldehyde. So that's something you should be aware of when you're using it. Now we don't know how much is dangerous in terms of what's in there, but likely it's a very, very small amount. But this is what gives it the, the glue-like you know, uh, characteristics this is why your lashes are able to stick to it. It is the first ingredient, so you should be aware of that, but it's the first ingredient in everything that's got a lash glue. So it's no different than any, than Lashify or your duo lash glue, any of that, it's the same. Butylene glycol, which is an alcohol, not too worrisome. And then they also have denatured alcohol, they have water, they have different other types of acrylates and copolymers. Citric acid, you'll, you're gonna see that a lot in just things that have a lot of lash serums and these kind of lash bonding agents. Sodium carbonate, that's just to buffer it, so it reduces the acidity of it. Sorbitol, which is a gum type thing. Um, ethyl hexyl glycerin. Glycerin is just gonna make things a little bit more viscous so it doesn't drip everywhere. Urea, you see that a lot also in lash serums. The biotin, so that's just a nice um, growth. You probably have heard of biotin, it grows your hair well. 
So they're trying to nourish the lash at the same time. There's more glycerin, more water, black. So the, car the actual color, the pigmentation, so it's not a clear. It says it's a clear bonding seal, but they actually have a black color in it. There's two different things, both the bonding agent and then the clear seal, right? And the clear seal does not have the acrylate or the cyanoacrylate as the first ingredient it has water because this is just to like, once you've adhered the lash, then you use the other side and then you just do a clear coat on top. And this mainly has just copolymers and a lot of wax is what it looks like. Even castor oil, um, and even some vitamin A, which is interesting. But what wax is gonna do is it's waterproof. And that's what you want from this clear, um, clear seal is because you're just trying to make it waterproof so that your lashes don't fall off. It just is going to make things stick a little bit better and give you a little more longevity to the lashes being applied underneath. So it's just all kind of the same stuff that we've seen in, in the other false lashes. So. You know, just things to watch out for. As I mentioned, the cyanoacrylate can off-gas formaldehyde. Some people have issues with some of the preservatives or even with the wax or some of the waterproof ingredients in the bonding agent or in the clear um, sealing agent. So if you start to get eye redness as you're putting these on, you wanna stop and you wanna go ahead and discontinue. The liquid can cause irritation of the eyes, it can cause redness, and it can even cause irritation to the eyelid skin, which you guys know is the thinnest skin in your body. I like that the seal has some castor oil in it and it seems to be pretty natural, but remember, Natural doesn't mean that it can't irritate your eyes. So if you're using this and you're not having issues, that's great. If you're using it and you feel like you've got some problems, stop using it. Don't think to continue just because, hey, it's pretty natural, I'm okay with it. You know, I cannot do lash extensions because of the acrylate glue. So this, this kind of glue is very similar. If you're fine with lash extensions or false lashes or any of that, then you really should likely be okay with the ingredients that are listed in this, uh, this particular uh, lashes in terms of the bonding and the clear sealing agent. And the price point is awesome. So I might order a couple of sets and see how it does. Just for special occasions, I think it's totally a fine thing to use. I love the look of lashes, you guys know that. And you know, I think if you're not using them constantly and you can get a good deep clean in there, to really get, make sure you're cleaning your eyelid margin, that's the most important to keeping your eyes healthy because it's not just that if you don't clean your lashes because you've got these things on that your natural lashes are gonna get short. You can actually get a lot of redness and irritation of the eyes themselves. You can actually even get infections of the eye itself and something as bad as particular kinds of ulcers and you don't want any of that. So. I would not recommend keeping them on for 10 days. Swap them out ever, after every couple of days, bare minimum, if not every day. I have friends that take them off every day, put them in a the little contact lens case, clean them off um, with the solution and then reapply them. So that would be fine too. Just then you are putting more of the bonding agent on every single time. And those vapors have been shown in some studies to cause corneal ulcers and redness and irritation. So that's a, another potential side effect if you are doing it every day. So you kind of have to weigh your options there. But there you go. That's the false scara lashes. Hope that video was helpful. If you just love your false scara lashes, I'd love to see pictures. Drop them in the comments below. Can you do pictures? I don't know, maybe you can't. I think you can. If not, then just drop in the comments below how much you love your false scara lashes. If you've had any issues with them, I'd love to know that too. But overall, seems like a pretty safe product and likely worth all the five-star reviews. Until next time, I am Dr. Rupa. Just please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really would mean so much to me. It helps me keep my channel going and just checking out some of my other eye makeup health videos if you get a chance. Until next time, bye-bye.